Hello, welcome and welcome back to my channel, Amanda DeBono Art, where we're going to be making some gel plate prints today. Today we're going to do a transfer technique, which is really easy and it's a little bit of a drawing hack. So if you're not big on drawing, if you don't really like it or you're not, you don't consider yourself very good at it, um, this is a fun little hack. And all you're going to need is your gel plate, some paint, uh, your brayer, some paper to print on. Just I'm just using copy paper, plain old regular copy paper I stole from the printer. And just some scrap paper to clean your brayer off and all that good stuff. You're also going to need some images to transfer. So these, you're going to draw on these and then transfer it onto your plate. So these are just some simple ones that I printed out. Well, that's one I did earlier. I drew on already. Uh, the, it works best with simpler images, less detail. You know, the more detail, the harder it's going to be because what we're going to be transferring with is a china marker or a grease pencil, whatever you want to call it. These totally remind me of my childhood and they make me think of my grandpa so bad. He used to write on I don't know, he used to use this to write on everything with. I love them. And it was always so fun to be like, can I sharpen it? You know, you have to pull the string down and peel all the paper off. This one's getting a little stumpy, so the string kind of gets in the way. But anyway, as you can see, it's a bit of a wider tip. So it's not the greatest for detail. And they're not designed to draw with, so they're kind of sticky. As you're going to see when I draw, they get kind of sticky. So the less detailed the picture, the better. Um, but hey, man, try a detailed picture. I would love to see it. Um, the most detailed I've done so far is one of Clara Bow, a photograph that I kind of I drew over. And I'll show you that in a sec. But uh, yeah, it's, it's a little hard, like I said, chunky. Oh, but you know what you can also do? If you find it too chunky and you do want to try detail, grab yourself a little knife. Let's move that because this is messy. They're very soft. So, and you could just kind of, uh, you can sharpen it into a bit of a point. But I do find these things break very easy. And you also have to, look at that. Ooh, that's a mess. And you have to press kind of hard. Anyway, I'll get into all those details once we get drawing. Let's cover that back up because I've cut myself way too many times. <laughs> Crumbs. Let's bring the plate back in. I don't know why we're bringing the plate back. Let's keep the plate out and bring the drawings in. Sorry, that was probably kind of thunderous, wasn't it? Uh, so these ones, I, I'm going to link it below, but there's a really great site for... Um, What's it called? Uh, like public use, free. They're like free images that any they've uh, outgrown their copyright. What's it called? There's a. <laughs> anyway, it's free. You can use it. Um, and these are some images that I got from. It's really cool, actually. I really like this book. This site. It's um. It has books, films, images, essays, all these things that are free to use. You can print them out and use them how you like. And uh, public domain. There we go. I remembered what it's called. They're in the public domain. So these two are quite easy to sketch out and they're beautiful. They're from, um, I hope I pronounced this right, Hamonshu. Hamonshu, a Japanese book of wave and ripple. How beautiful is that? I can't even remember the year. I wish I had written that down. But it's pretty old and I just, a, a book called book of wave and ripple yes please anyways I'm gonna do this one and I'll show you what you do let's see so what you're gonna do is you're just gonna take your pencil your grease pencil your china marker and you're gonna trace over the drawing that's pretty much it um, the grease in here is going to act as a resist on the plate so it's, uh, it's kind of like a little magic wand right here. We're gonna magic wand this painting or this drawing. And what you're gonna need to do is press kind of hard or go over it a couple times. You can do that because you wanna make sure you get enough of this grease 
on here. That sounds really disgusting for some reason that you're drawing with grease. But yeah, go over it a couple times. And like I said, it is kind of sticky and they're not meant for drawing, but it's kind of cool that way because you can't, you know, you can't uh, perfect it. You can't think too much about it. You just sort of have to let it, let it go. I'm sure you can see that's a theme of mine, just trying not to, we're not perfecting things and just letting them happen. So draw over the entire thing. Okay, it is a workout. You just, since you have to press a bit hard and it's sticky, um, I think you can consider this your, um, your daily workout. You're gonna have a real sweet, sweet bicep. So if you're ambidextrous, that's gonna be a real bonus because you won't, you, you won't be uh, lopsided. One giant bicep on one arm and one that wishes it was like the giant bicep. Okay, here I go babbling, but now um, I'm gonna speed this up for you so you don't have to sit and watch me draw over the painting, drawing, uh, because I think you kind of get that, right? Okay, so here we go, drawing time. Okay, back to normal speed for a second because I'm sure it goes without saying, but don't try to, or don't worry about getting every single line in the drawing and uh, copying it exactly because um, it doesn't really matter. It goes with the whole free flow vibe of the whole thing, you know. You're going to make it, you'll see when it comes out. It's a bit more like an impression and like a sketch, more of a sketch, because it's not going to come out absolutely perfect. It's what you do with it after that matters. Okay, zoop, zoop, zoop. Let's fast forward again. Here we go. Okay, I'm going to pause the warp speed again to say, um, consider subscribing. Oh, <laughs> you knew that was coming because every, every YouTube video says it. Like and share. What is it? Um, ring that bell. Ring my bell. Okay. Just a little ASMR for you there. <laughs> okay, here we go. Oh, okay. Ouch. That's a little red. I press hard all the time anyway, but... That was extra. So here we go. Now we're going to print this. Now that you've drawn over your picture, and again, I'm gonna link the website I got this from and this exact image too, if you wanna try it. Here we get our gorgeous little plight here. Wait, move that bit that broke. Today I'm just gonna do, I'm just using black and white. I'm not gonna get all fun with the colors because this is just for a, Simple technique, and then it's um, then it's up to you, babes. You get to decorate it with color and glitter and paper and drawing and paint and collage. I don't know, whatever, whatever. The sky's the limit when you are making art. Okay, what am I doing? Let's try some white paint. The cool thing is too, you're gonna do a pull a print with your initial drawing. And even though it's gonna be covered in paint, uh, you should be able to get another print. I've tried it and you can get another, sorry, another pull from it. So we'll, we'll try that. We'll give it a little go and uh, see what happens. Do, 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 do. That's probably too much. I always put too much. Okay, roll this out. Yeah, it's too much. It's feeling a little squishy. Oh, I don't like when I use too much. In this economy, who can afford paint? All right. So my job plate always shifts. There we go. Get back in frame you. Take your wave, flip her over. And massage, massage, massage. Put a decent pressure. Okay. 
I'm watching squirrels and chipmunks outside my window right now. It feels wicked good outside. It's like proper spring feeling. I love with winter, but oh, this feels so good. All right, let's have a little peek. Oh, she's coming up. All right, you know what? No. There's our, our wave. Look what you drew. Ah, oh, so sweet. Put the wave over there. Oh, see? So it's covered in paint now, but you can see it shining. So the grease is still, is still on there. Okay. Give this a little wave. Hey guys. I gave them sunflower seeds. They're loving it. Okay, make sure my brayer is not all gunky. I think you could just give it a little tap, tap, tap. Nothing's coming up. I mean, that's not going to take very long to dry anyway. It's very small. Always remember, too, your image will be reversed. So if there's anything with text, you're going to want to... Hmm. Yeah, I don't know if that's even going to work, actually, if you do text, because when you flip it, it's going to be backwards. So my waves are going in the opposite direction, which doesn't matter. But always a good thing to note. Reverse images. More shift. Another massage. Oh, it's so boring here now. It looks so white and spilly. All right, another good massage. I actually love this part. It feels nice. It's smooth. Squishy. All right. Okay, are you ready? Here comes the wave. Oh, I ripped it. <laughs> Got caught on something. And there we go. Look at this. And there you go. You've done a transfer. A China marker. Grease pencil. It's kind of jazz. Kind of jazzy. And of course, you're going to get all the nice textures from behind your plate or the, in my case, crappy uh, roll job <laughs> paint so thin in some areas. But it's fun. I mean, you get all these fun textures, especially if your plate is nice and grimy. I like a grimy plate. And look at these corners because those will eventually pick up and become part of, a, part of another artwork. So there's the wave. You know, I'm seeing faces in here. Are you seeing faces in here? It's a bird, maybe. Birds in the waves. This is some guy. I don't know. Okay, so let me show you what I did with Clara, because I said I would show you sassy Clara bow. I love the 20s. So this was one I did really um, quickly, and I really like her hair. I've given her proper messy hair. You know what, let me get you the actual image because I have another copy of it and I'll show you what it looks like. Um, not drawn. Okay, here she is. Oh, is that not just the most sensational photograph? Look at her. I love her. Oh, I'm so drawn to the 20s. I think I must have been there in a past life. I just took the grease pencil and uh, just colored over everywhere I wanted obviously co covered. Let's see, yeah. So her eyes obviously are not as drop dead knockout sensational as they are here because they're just kind of plain. And I said before, not very good at getting detail. You're not good at detail, little pencil guy. So what I'm gonna do is go in and either paint in some eyelashes, some cheeks, I might collage in some the back of her dress here with some funky paper. Who knows? That's where the fun comes in, is taking your transfer and altering it to how you want it to look. Oh, and when I was looking for Clara, I found this other, look at this one. Should I attempt this? This might be a trickier one because detail. Monet, look at those slacks. Yeah, that one would be tough. Here's another wave I did earlier with pink. So just to give you an idea how it looks on color, it's very rad. 
I did draw on one earlier, just so we can do another, uh, get another idea. What am I doing here? I've got all these papers. How, okay, side note, again, from this same website that will be linked below. This is a birth certificate. Can you even imagine? I mean, I don't know about you, but my birth certificate uh, looks the complete opposite of this. Very institutional looking, just a blue card with type on it. Look at this. I mean, they drew birds. This is folk art. This is really cool. So on that site, they go into a little history of things. So this was uh, from Pennsylvania, I think. And uh, it was a German community. Anyway, this is fantastic. So I just colored in a couple of little, or outlined a couple of the little details. And we're going to do a little print and see how that looks. Again, I'm going to do, you know what? Let's try, let's try black. Oh, you know what? Yeah, never mind, never mind, never mind. I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm going to try doing another pull of the waves to show you that you can get another one. So we're going to take our wave that we already printed once, see if we can get another pull. We should be able to. Gosh, here, this needs some color. There, have some pencil scraps. It's just so boring around here. Well, at least there's some stripes. You can hear everything shaking around on my desk. It's this guy. He's going to fall over. Oh my gosh, it wasn't that guy. What's clanging? Stop making so much noise. All right. This one might take a bit more pressure. I don't know. I always press her. Yeah, yeah, that one's not as substantial. Not as strong as the other one. But look at that! A second pull. I think it's like pretty much dry right away anyway. Okay, let's put this guy here instead of the pencil scraps. So, oh, look at him! Oh, looks like he's going to take off. Fly away. Here we go. See how this one looks. High five. Ooh, it's raining out. Oh, I love it. I love creating. Uh, in wild weather. Am I alone in that? I love storms, rainstorms, snowstorms. It just, I just love, I love wild weather. I guess it creates a good atmosphere. Here we go. Here's our other one. A second pull. Obviously yours are going to look very different because you're going to do it diff in a different way. You're going to roll your paint out a different way. You're going to use different colors. Your plate has got more different bits of gunk than mine. But this is what it looks like. And all I can see is little faces still, like birds. Okay, we got a second print. All right, sweet, sweet. Now, let's try this rad birth certificate. I can't get over this. I mean, imagine someone sitting there writing it. Okay, you've been born. And they're like, okay, we're going to need your birth certificate now. All right, just give me one to two months and I'll uh, get it to you because i got to draw my birds and stuff. Yes, please. Let's go back to, can we please go back to that? Like caring about things, actually putting a little effort into things. Please, please. Okay, I'm going to start with white. And, oh my gosh, I'm in. Oh, you used too much again. Well, I was going to blame the container, but you know what? You've got to take responsibility for yourself. It was me that squoze it too hard. Also, the uh, the nozzle in the container is a little big, so, you know, it's a little bit. It's team effort. Team effort to waste paint. The other cool thing about doing this as, like, a little drawing hack is... Um, 
if you're not confident in your drawing, like I'm not really confident in my drawing. Um, I love doing it, but I don't know. It's just not my, my uh, forte. If you're not confident in it or don't really like to do it, then this is kind of a fun way to get used to doing it, to teaching yourself. You know, you can just trace the lines and get used to, oh my gosh, I don't know if all those are going to fit. Okay, here we go. I have a good one. Look at this. Let's see if the bird heads are on. I can't even see them. My plate is too dingy. Okay. I didn't know they got on there. I thought I overshot the plate. But yeah, copying other artists' work, like tracing, take a, take one of the, um, you know, like some old sketches from some of those classic artists and draw over them and kind of get a feel for their lines and how the lines join up and cre create movement. Okay, here we go. Let's see how our little guys. Oh, look at them. The top of his head is missing. Oh, but it's beautiful. Oh, I love it. This one I'm going to do a color. Okay, I said I was going to just do black and white, but you know what? This guy wants color and we're going to do... Oh, yeah. Let's get some permanent red violet in there. Sassy. There, color in the color in the shot too. Woo, color! Okay. You trying? You trying? You trying? Do, 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 do. Okay. I'm just gonna say I think this one's gonna turn out pretty smashing. Smashing. This is the best bit, right? Oh, pulling that dried stuff off. Oh, look, okay. Okay. All right, all right. Let me just take some of that off. Where's my little thing? Hey, I put it in a little cup or something. <laughs> Save it. Beep, beep, beep. Here we go. Cover the birds. I love this color. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Mix it with a turquoise. Mwah, sensational. So choice. All right, here we go, birds. I don't really want, I don't usually care too much about roller marks, but I don't want them messing up the birds. I need to get a bigger brayer. That's what I need to do. Here we go. I haven't tried this one yet, so you're seeing it first. You, you and I have seen it together for the first time. Live. I wonder if I should ever go live on YouTube. I'm never, uh, <laughs> I mean, it makes me nervous to think of it, but also, what would we do? Just hang out, have a glass of wine and paint? Maybe. Comment below. Should I do lives? I don't know. Oh my God. You're making me nervous. You're making me nervous if you said yes. Oh, they did turn out nice. Look at that. So now you've got a nice template to write someone a letter. Remember in the olden days, writing by hand. You could do that or you could draw something here. I don't know. Anything, right? It's just, wow, I'm really happy with that one. Transfers and drawing hacks. Yeah, that one turned out real nice. But you can see what I mean. Like, it's not going to be smooth or perfect. Perfect is boring. So we get nice little scratchy lines, scribbles, kind of like Clara's hair. Clara's hair all scribbly. Yeah, I love it. Have fun with it. Just play. Always remember to play. We'll see... Um, George Bernard Shaw quote, we don't stop playing because we get old. We get old because we stop playing. So go forth and play. I've got some other cool um, gel plate techniques I will be doing in the future. I'm going to make some more videos, another little drawing hack, and um, maybe use some text, get some text, texty art, and uh, I will see you in the next one, beautiful soul. Mwah.
Go play.